Hi everyone, Zaz here. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can take advantage of Visual Moto's financial consultant theme along with Bill Flow's WordPress plugin to start your own consultant business within a matter of minutes. Now Visual Moto has a beautiful pricing page already. As you can see, it has three, three tiers, a basic, a plus plan and a premium, each highlighting what they include along with buy now buttons. But these buy now buttons don't actually link to anything, which is where bill flow comes in. With the bill flow pricing embed, you can actually create this functional and responsive pricing page so that your users can check out and be redirected to their customer portal where they will be able to manage their account. So if they want to cancel, they can cancel. If they want to resubscribe, they can resubscribe and so on and so forth. So let's jump into it. So first and foremost, you're going to want to download a, a theme first. I've gone ahead and downloaded the financial theme. It's this one right here. Now you can use this for any consulting business, but I'm going to stick to what the theme has given us. And once you do that, you go into your account, you download the theme, and then you upload it onto WordPress. Make sure that you read all the documentation that Visual Moto provides for you in this YouTube channel. Um, they do a wonderful job and I was able to follow along step by step. Now, along with this theme, you are going to want to also um, install all of the plugins that Visual Moto gives you from this tab. And on top of that, we're going to need one more plugin, which is Billflow. This one right here. Let's view the details. And this is what's going to allow us to create our billing pages. So our pricing page, checkout form and customer portal. Once you do um, install and activate Billflow, you want to set it up as well. So in WordPress, you're going to go to the Billflow tab and you'll be presented with this little banner. I already have it. So from here, the a very important step is to connect Billflow to the WordPress plugin. So in your dashboard, you're going to integrations tab and copy your Billflow secret key. Um, and you also want, this is very important, you also want to select this checkbox that basically allows WordPress to create a new user every time a customer signs up for your service with Billflow. That's how user accounts are going to be generated. Now from there, we're just going to jump right into Stripe. If you don't have an account yet, go ahead and set that up. Now within Stripe, we are going to be setting up our products. So let's say you have three tiers. Each of those three tiers are going to require a single product within Stripe. So as you can see, I have a basic, a plus and a premium. We are going to make it look exactly like this pricing page right here, which has basic plus and premium. So we're going to go back here and I've already created these, but just so that I can demonstrate to you all, we're going to click in to basic knit. You are going to create a product, give it a name, select additional options and add two metadata tags. So the first one is going to be SB underscore service. I've called that finance. It's crucial that your SB underscore underscore service tag remains the same throughout all three products or however many products that you have, because that we are going to see in the next step is going to allow Billflow to recognize these products as one service. And then your SB underscore tier tag 
which I've called basic, is just going to be the name of the tier. So that doesn't have to be consistent, but it's very important that SB underscore service is the same throughout. And you'll see why in a second. I did that. I added my price. And under price description, I also named it basic tier. And you'll see why that's also necessary on the checkout form. You're going to do that for all three tiers until you have three products in Stripe. From there, we are going to go into bill flow. Now, if you haven't done so already, you want to create an account and connect your bill flow account to Stripe. It's very simple. It's a huge button. You won't miss it. And from here, we are going to create a new pricing page. I'm going to call this financial demo. And our, the first step in this is going to be to select a service. So we're going to scroll all the way down. We can see that this SB underscore service that we gave it finance shows up right there and it has three products in it, which means that we set it up properly. You select that. We go into our pricing settings. We don't have any product images or descriptions. I don't want to hide or disable anything, but if you did, you would easily do that. Okay. And we are going to use the bill flow checkout, but if you have your own checkout form, you can use the redirect link to do that, to link to your own checkout form. Now, we also have a features list. So let's go back here and let me add all of this. All right, I'm gonna pause and come back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've added all of our features. Now we're gonna move on to our checkout settings. We want to enable password field, require card on sign up, and enable coupons. And the most important piece of this is that we want to redirect our customers to a link after checkout. Now I'm going to turn that on, but we are going to have to go back into WordPress and get that link. So in our case, I want the users to be redirected to their account. So we are going to take this link, copy it, Go back to bill flow and paste. So now when our users sign up, confirm, um, and it's a successful payment, then they're going to be redirected to their account. Okay. And then from there, we want to add our design. We also want to make sure that we are on the most latest version so that we have the best looking um, embeds possible. I've added all my CSS. Um, let me look at some language. I don't need anything there. No advanced settings. We are ready to embed. So save. And so once you do, you're going to be given four different options, select WordPress, copy the short code, go back to WordPress, go to the page that you're going to be embedding this on. If you're using Gutenberg editor, then add a short code block. If you're using um, WordPress bakery, then you can add a raw JS block. From here, we are going to paste. Save changes. Update. Okay. Well, it's coming together well. Um, I will come back at the end once we have our customer portal as well to um, finish the styling of this so that we can make it look as close to what this theme has as possible. But let's jump back into bill flow.
from here, this time, we're going to select customer portal and we're going to create a new billing page with that. So here I'm going to rename it. And this right here is going to allow you to basically select what your customers are going to be able to do. So for me, if I'm a financial advisor, I would want to allow my customers to change their plan. I want to allow them to resubscribe if they have canceled. I would like to enable coupon for any promotions I, I have. I'm not live, but if I was, you have to enable your security hash. I also want to ask for cancellation reasons, and I want them to be able to cancel immediately. And awesome. Now we can select our service for the change plan portion of our embed. So again, we are going to keep it consistent. Select finance. Let's go into our plan change settings. Um, again, nothing really to show here. You can add the futures list again, but personally, I'm not going to. Check out settings. We are not going to require a card on sign up because we are already going to have their card um, or their credit card information. And we are not going to redirect them outside of the portal. So all that's left is for us to design. Okay, we're gonna, again, make sure that we're on V2, the latest version, whatever that is that at the time that you're watching this. Save now. WordPress, copy code. We're going to go back to our page. We said we want this on account. We're going to edit this page. And I'm going to throw in a little uh, RawJS block right here. I'm going to select raw js. Just paste your short code and save. Update. Let's see if that worked. Awesome. Now we see the pricing page here because we haven't signed up for a service yet. But before that, actually, there's one more thing that we need to do, which is we need to tell WordPress that this short code is only going to work for users who are logged in and go back to, to this. OK, so in WordPress, we're going to use this short code that I got from our docs. We're going to save it. Update. Let's see if it works. Awesome. OK, so we land on this beautiful consulting website. You scroll down, you learn some things about it. We realize we're interested. So let's check out the pricing. And I still need to delete this after. I've designed everything, but let's select this plus plan. Fill out this checkout form. And awesome, we see that we have been redirected now. Please ignore the fact that I have so many different tests. <laughs> um, awesome, so ideally, this would be an email that hasn't been tested out before. So all you would really see is um, this beautiful customer portal with all the details. And from here, your user can go ahead and cancel the subscription. Please let us know why you're leaving. Can't afford it. Cancel subscription. 
and now we can see that that's canceled but you can go in and you can actually resubscribe now and you might have a coupon as well you subscribe and that's actually going to create a completely new subscription as we can see right here that's active all right you guys what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my time and finish the css on on these embeds to make sure that you guys can take it and run with it to start your own consulting business um but if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and if you have any questions leave us a comment in the comment box below or reach out at me directly at zazdara on twitter that's z-a-z-d-a-r-a -A -A. and i would be more than happy to help you out features as here um, i just wanted to show you guys what the final product actually looks like all the way through so let's select this plus plan sign up confirm and we successfully get redirected to our customer portal which looks like this um, which we have already seen if I want to change plan then as we can see it looks exactly like what we saw on the pricing page as well one last step is to check that this user actually went through so we're going to go back into stripe go to our customers and voila there we have it and that's it until next time, you guys. Bye.